Xin Chow, what's up everybody? All right, we're at Turtle Lake. I wanna do a TRT update. What's my condition been like? Do I still have massive loads of energy? Metabolism, um, the gel, why I wanna to switch to injectables. Let's get on it um, and let's have a full conversation about it. If you do want to smash that like button, that'd be awesome. If you want to leave a comment, you can do that. And of course, if you found this video helpful, this helps me the most. Just one click, hit and subscribe, really helps this channel out. So a lot of people have been asking me questions about the TRT. So the first thing I want to cover, because I've gotten some emails about this, even though it's directly in the video, it's, it's you literally call up VinMech in Vinhome Central Park. If you want the gel, all they have is the gel. They don't have injectables. I'm still looking for a place with injectables. But you literally just call up VinMac. They'll have someone that speaks English when you call. And you go, I want to make an appointment for getting checked on my testosterone. They will make an appointment for you. You will then get a consultation by a doctor there at the consultation room, which is downstairs on the uh, one level down when you go in. And you'll talk to a doctor. So when you talk to the doctor, you're gonna to wanna to tell him, you know, my energy's been low, I'm not feeling right, you know. It's just, I feel a little bit slower than what I used to and a little bit faster than what it should be for what I think my age is. I would just really like to see where my levels are at. Can we please just check, you know, check my blood out and see where my testosterone is at. Now, if you wanna do this all in one day instead of like I had to come back because I, I went and like, around 11 make your appointment for like 8 a.m 9 a.m because then you're in that window when you just woke up and when they need to test testosterone so then that if you go and do it that way they'll be able to draw your blood do a panel they did a bunch of different checks i didn't ask about enough stuff because i didn't know admittedly i don't i don't have a great deal of knowledge on trt estrogens and all this shit so I think you can get an estrogen blocker too. I didn't know to ask until afterwards. So when I go back after my 30 days to pick up my new uh, gel, which is 2.2 million. So the prescription per month for 30 days of the gel is about $100 US. So it's not that bad. I think it's a little bit more expensive than what it would be in America. Like I said, the total process of getting the TRT costs 5.5 million. That was with the blood test, the doctor consultation, talking with the doctor, all that. That's total included bill with the medicine as well, the TRT and the gel. The gel does work, right? It does the trick. My metabolism is through the roof and it's starting to cause problems with the way that I eat. You know, As we all know, I do one meal a day. And usually what I mean by one meal a day, because everybody likes to take everything so literal, is I at least try to do a 20 or 22 hour fast. And then I'll eat for like a two hour period. So that can be more than one meal. You know, I could have something, 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 and then an hour later have a little snack and then I'm done. I create like a window. Sorry about that. Vietnam. Hold on. All right, we're back. So yeah, I, I used to create a window, right? And I would eat in that window but now the problem is since my metabolism is so high and i'm lifting weights every day and like lifting heavier weights than what i was before because i, I just can you know i'm hungry as a wolf by like noon like it is extreme hunger like you know you kind of get hungry during the day a little bit when you do oh, pots down was it fighting yeah, old lady fighting. This happens on occasion. She's yelling at her. Oh, she's throwing shit too. More pots getting thrown. A little feud. Yep. Vendor feud. These happen. I've seen them before. That's not the first time. So yeah, what, what's happening is my metabolism is like... Probably like it hasn't been in 10 years. So I'm hungry from noon on. Like... You know, that hunger pain where like keel over almost hungry. So what I'm going to start doing is dropping my window down from 22 to 24 hours of fasting. I used to do 20 to like 18. So probably have my first meal around one or two and then have my last meal at like five. So I'm definitely going to introduce more food into my daily diet because I pretty much have to. 
uh, my energy gets real low when I'm not eating. So I'm gonna try it tomorrow for the first day. Because as soon as I eat, like when I eat my one meal at five, I go into super energy, like super, super high energy mode. So I know it's my body wanting proteins. So I'm gonna keep eating kind of like, I wouldn't say I'm doing a carnivore diet because I'm eating vegetables too, but I'm eating primarily meat and then veg. But like a lot of meat and a little veg. Like usually my veg will be a cucumber. Like I'll have a couple cucumbers with whatever meat I'm eating. As I talked about in the video, you'll probably see before this, I have been eating for the past like week or two, just lean beef in like a hot pot setting of just like a spicy hot pot. And what I've been doing is cutting up cucumbers, putting that in there, cut up a carrot, put that in there. And then that, that's kind of my veg. And that works well. That, that, when I eat that at, at five or six, it, I'm full for the rest of the night. I don't need any more food. But like I said, the problem I'm running into now is that I'm getting hungry at like pretty much at 11. Like, I'm getting hungry way earlier and way more extreme and then having energy dip down because my body's requesting that protein. And that could be just because I'm going hard too, you know. I'm, I'm running, I'm swimming, I'm going to the gym. So after like a week being on it, I'm on my two weeks now, I think, I put on like a kg or two because I started eating more too. Like... So now I'm adjusting. So now I'm going back down in size and figuring out what works. So I just gotta get there. I talked to a couple of my friends on TRT here. They said it takes like two, two months for your body to really level out for the hunger and all that stuff. So that's what I'm gonna try. And probably what my first meal of the day will be is like some, some chicken. Some chicken and a couple veg. I still not big on loading up on carbs unless it's my cheat meal and then I'll have pizza. Pretty much that is my go-to cheat meal is now pizza at uh, Seven Bridges. It's a good pizza, it's good quality. I can eat two slices, I'm full. It lasts me until I go to sleep. So that's kind of been my go-to cheat meal is uh, two slices of, because they're big New York slices. You know, it almost, two slices would almost be like a, 75% of a pizza you would order in Vietnam here Because they're actual like they're really the only place besides uh, Paper plate which is terrible pizza. No offense to paper plate if you're watching uh, ugh. And then some New York place called New York's New York slice, which was also terrible pizza But those two had actual like New York style pies and uh, pizza slice size Jimmy's is hands down the best pizza still here uh, yeah, blows everything away. It's not a New York pizza, even though it's supposed to be. You know, you're not going to get a New York pizza out of New York. It's pretty simple. Some can get close to it, but the possibility of getting close to it in Saigon, Vietnam, like, not, not really happening. Not happening. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's been the real big difference and the real struggle now. Other than that, you know, I'm already making gains in the gym. You know, what would take me a long time to go up kgs and weight, I've just done in like a week and a half, two weeks. So that's pretty awesome as far as I'm concerned. I'm pretty stoked with it. And I can feel the, the gains at the gym, you know. So it's, it's overall going well. Uh, I would like to get off the gel because it leaves like a residue on your shoulders, you know. I'm usually doing my run half hour after I take the gel so I'm taking a shower like an hour after I'm taking the gel hour and a half so it's not that big of a deal and I'm fully like washing that area and by the way it doesn't rub off if you jump in a shower or go for a swim a, a half hour hour later it all absorbs into your body within 15 minutes so once it's absorbed you can wash it off then even oh here's some tourists perfecto a couple other tourists we've got tourists beautiful sight to see so yeah I want to get off the gel though because you know it, it wears out so I would like to have that steady balance of it lasting for an entire week not just you know the day and then you got to take it again every morning it's a bit of a pain but does it work like if you can't get the gel uh, the injection yes it does work and if you're if your testosterone is low and you need something 
definitely get the gel. It's not gonna, I'm not a doctor and I don't know shit about doctor stuff. So that's my pre-warning to, uh, <laughs> to that. Definitely take advice only from your doctor, not from Fat and Broke. I'm just giving you my journey thus far because a lot of people ask about it. All right, I gotta switch out batteries, I'll be right back.